Uh, burnout part three. Uh, this is going to be kind of a short part. Um, if you're watching this in the VODs. Lethal Geo, thank you for the follow. Um, just unfortunately, I had a lot of tech issues. And I had to go rent a physical thing to, uh, to fix some of those tech issues. But we're all good now. Everything everything should be good, at least for today. Sub gold man. Holy shit! Let's fucking go! I haven't had over 150 subscribers in like a year. That's fucking awesome. Thank you, homies. I think it's finally time uh, to do the sub goal. I'm going to do, like I said, I got to fuck around with whatever's wrong over there tonight. And then I think I'll fix... I can't do the, the text slideshow anymore because that plugin doesn't work for OBS 28. If anybody out there codes, this, the, the code is orp open source. Please fix it. Uh, a later Xbox 360. I want something with the extert, like the drives, because I just, for this, I just threw in my drive and it was ready to go. I, I feel like the cable to transfer from like the old style drive to the new style drive is going to be a lot harder to fucking find than an Xbox. Anyway, Kings of the Road, new Grand Prix. Crash FM, and there are just a few more events to run before we move our series over to Europe. You want to know where to catch the action? Well, this is the the last race challenge in the game. On Crash FM. Uh, I'll be I'll be edgy. It's tournament time. Race GP is about consistency. If you're consistently first, you I've played this game in like two weeks. It feels like it's been two weeks. That's that's my ass, bro. Stop. I'm please save me. Please save me. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Kawhi, I don't think you understand what I'm saying here. Uh I'm using my old, like, the old style, like, 60 gig drives. Um, and to transfer everything onto a modern Xbox, like, a more modern Xbox 360, there's just, like, I think a special cable that you need. And I don't have that. And I feel like that's going to be a lot fucking harder to find than just an old style Xbox is. Yeah, if you sort my clips by, like, most popular, it should be in the top five or top ten. Oh, there I go. There I go. Hello, friends. Let's cuddle. Okay. Ow. I also didn't sleep well yesterday. Like, I wasn't going to stream today, but I'm like, well, I need to go get the mic figured out. And then if I'm going to... Oh! I suck. <laughs> I'm gonna, if I'm going to figure the mic out and get all that done, then... Uh... Express gift, even if it's never used. Kai, I mean this in the nicest way possible. I'm not giving you my address and or not letting you pay international shipping. Uh, I don't know if that's correct. NASCAR. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I've never heard of uh, some Xbox 360s being backwards compatible and some not. Yeah, you might be thinking of PS3s. I know some PS3s are like that with PS2 games. Luckily, I do have the Chumby one. Luckily, I do have the Chungus uh, th uh, PS3. And I, I don't use it. I mean, Nick, I just started, so you didn't miss much. Uh, something broke in my setup because, of course, it did. Um, and I, like, just... This was the first race I've done tonight. I wonder if the quality from the uh, from the Xbox is going to be any better now that there's no pass-through. It's, like, going directly into the capture card. But, uh... Race GP rules aren't too complex. First place wins the most points available in each race. Yeah, I don't mean to be like, haha, you're wrong, but like, I don't remember hearing about that at all. The PS3s are like that, but. Uh, I don't think the 360s are. Maybe the ones, but again, I feel like those are a lot. All their emulation stuff is software, so it wouldn't make sense. 
either way, uh, this elite's working well for me now. Um, ow. I should probably look into, uh, into upgrading to, like, a, again, a more modern Xbox 360, but I feel like it's going to be way more of a headache trying to transfer all my data over. Yeah, what the... <laughs> so if you guys missed it yesterday, uh, we did a charity race with Next Level Racing, um, and it was being streamed by Race Spot. Uh... I do not know the two gentlemen who were commentating that race. Usually it's like uh, Arjuna or Anjuna. It's Arjuna. Anjuna is the record label. Uh, I will get those confused again. Uh, and I was on the broadcast very briefly. I'm not very good uh, at the combat we were racing yesterday, so it's not like I was up front, you know. Um, and they said, yep, you know, Keenan Kuzin. Uh, we know him through his... Uh, he's a top-level NASCAR driver in iRacing, and um, I forget what they said. Oh, it, it, you can guarantee this isn't his first race um, at Road America. Not only am I not even remotely a top-level NASCAR driver in iRacing, not only am I not even particularly interested racing NASCAR and iRacing, uh, I've never raced at Road America and iRacing in my fucking life. So I, I think that guy got me confused with Casey Kerwin. <laughs> I, I, I really think I got to be Casey Kerwin for five minutes yesterday. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping whoever runs the uh, race spot Twitter ends up seeing that clip and can give me some fucking context. Got to find out ironic is the PS5 not only costs. People are paying way more than. Yeah, you, I, I, like I said this before, some people like. Um, argue me on this, but I mean, you don't live where I live, and you don't go to the stores I go to, uh, but I've not seen a PS5 in the wild yet. Like, I've not seen a PS5 sitting on a store shelf ready to be purchased yet. I've seen on Xbox One, singular. And when we NASCAR, if you've been load, and I said, need an update. I don't know, man. Retro consoles are fucking stupid. Don't get into streaming or recording retro stuff. It's a fucking pain. <laughs> There's a lot of money for, like, incremental increases you know, in quality. It isn't just a super fast racing heaven. It links our Alpine city to the coast. This means big rig travel. I wouldn't mind a PS5, but, like, there's... N I'm in no hurry to get one now. I've had my fun with Gran Turismo, so, like... Ow! I've had my I've had my fun with Gran Turismo, so like for me, there's no I don't really feel the need to uh, to go after one. Yeah, I've seen some Xboxes here and there. Definitely mo way more common. Every time uh, I go past the electronics section in Walmart, I always take a look just just for funsies. Up, 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 up. Xbox Series X. Well, yeah, because it plays everything. That's why Ryan bought one. Ryan bought one not necessarily because he wants a Series X. It's just because it, it'll play all your 360 games. It'll, well, most of them, right? It'll play your, um, your one games. It's basically the last three generations of Xbox in one unit. Uh... Ender, honestly, it's because the PS5 is more popular. I mean, you could you could disagree with me, but I I like from what I've heard and people what people are buying, the PS5 was way more popular. Less people are buying the Xbox. And if you like went through a scalper to get it, chances are you have one by now. People are still looking for fucking PS5s. Do you have to jailbreak it for that Thundee? Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, have you checked? Because that's what I bought this game like a month ago on the Xbox store. It's only on the 360 store. Ah, uh, I don't.
want to sound insulting, but I don't think they would do that for like a sports game. I've never played NASCAR 06. It could be the best one in the, in the, in the series. I have no idea, but. Unlikely they would do that for a licensed sports game, but you never know. You're back with Crash FM, and it's official. We are now the number one attraction in the Riviera this month. That ain't saying too much, though. It was between us and the Wine Museum. Uh, I better get to some music. Hold on. Been out for a long time. What console was that out on? Oh, okay. Races, points for places. It's race GP. Me too, Nick. That blew my fucking mind. 360. Oh, yuck. I mean, 360 is like if you want to buy a 360 or a PS3 or a 360 or PS3 games, I think the time to buy is like the more you wait, the more expensive everything's going to get. I don't think things are getting cheap anymore for this stuff. I think it's starting to trend upward. Yeah, I was a, uh, a 2004 kid um, when it came to NASCAR games. I got to tell you, though, I never really ma messed around with the single player. I kind of just did, like, single races and fucked around with it with my friends. I never really did these careers that uh, a lot of, like, NASCAR game diehards are uh, clamoring about. Maybe that'll have to be something I do someday. I'll tell you what, though. I'll, I'll say something right now. It has nothing to do with NASCAR. I have a, a subscribe. We hit the 150 sub goal. Um, I'm fucking dead now. So full transparency, if we hit about 150 subscribers a month, which is a big number, don't get me wrong, uh, I can sustain being full time. It'll be a struggle, but I can do it. Um, especially if I like have voiceover commissions or commentary or stuff to kind of fill in the gaps. Um, however, uh, I do want to do a sub goal. I think I know if I want to do, oh my God, what the fuck happened there? I don't know if I want to do it for, uh, 175 or 200. I haven't decided that yet. However, some of you guys will, the long-term fans will know that I had a, um, a sub goal like a year ago, maybe even longer for Fast and Furious Crossroads, uh, and then never got, fuck, and then never got around to it. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a sub goal for Fast and Furious Crossroads. And at the same time on the same day, you got to be shitting me. Same time on the same day, if we hit that sub goal before that stream. So obviously I'd give you guys like a month heads up. I'm fucking garbage. Um, I would play Vin Diesel's Wheelman in the same stream. And it'd be like a like a 12 hour plus stream. Uh, and if we exceed that sub goal, so we hit sub goal two, I'll play through uh, both games on hard. If they have hard. I got to come up with the numbers first, Nick. I, I, whenever I set up sub goals, I like try to do the math of like, okay, well, what does this number equate to um, in terms of payout and how much are people going to be paying for this? Is it worth it? That kind of thing. TLDR, I want money to, for a new microphone because this is a rental. It's... Fuck you! Like, I'm really glad I was able to rent this really quick um, and have a solution for the next month that was under $100, but at the same time, I can't rent... I can't spend 60 bucks a month on audio equipment. That's silly. That's very dumb and stupid, so. Tank, what game is that from? That's not Beam, is it? That's like a Seto? I totally derped. I was like, this looks re Oh, oh! Okay, that's why it doesn't look like any game I've ever played before. I didn't recognize it at all. I was like, what the fuck? Where is this car from? Well, not the car, but like, what, what game is, you know? I usually have a pretty good eye for that. That's why I was like really confused. But yeah, I'm gonna do some troubleshooting tonight and we'll figure out what's wrong. And I gotta go to, uh, I gotta go to Ikea tomorrow. I wanna get a little table. 
because uh, their little itty bitty lack tables are on sale for like 10 bucks. Um, and normally I've got that big folding like white table set up next to me, but it's, oh, I hit it again. But I want to stick a table like right here for my mouse and my keyboard. For two, kind of underrated. That's a fucking car, guys. So I, I wish the Crew 2 had more of a single player because I would actually play it. I own it on like, I, I'm, fuck. I own, I don't need to win this, but I'm being pedantic. Uh, I own it on multiple platforms. I've just never sat down and given it a, given it a whirl before. Back with Crash FM and man, this place has so many tunnels, meaning it's even more satisfying. What's up, Koo? Hi. Uh, I do not own it on the PS4. I think I have it on the Xbox One. I think I bought it on Xbox and then never played it. It very well might still be in the wrapping. How did he get a nudge for that? Okay. I am stupid. I watched, uh, I think it was Paraglider play some, do some gameplay of the FTO. Uh, and if you've been watching the, the Heat playthrough that we're doing, which will be on Friday, by the way, for those, uh, Need for Speed Heat fans, all three of you, um, it, not the Need for Speed Heat tolerators. Um, I was saying, you know what, the crew too, isn't perfect, but I think they got the driving better than the Need for the Need for Speed the video game did. You know what I mean? But I haven't played the Crew 2 since the beta, so I'm really uh, I'm really curious to like actually play it again. Yeah, it's not going to be a super long stream today, guys. I'll see if I can make uh, make up for it another day this week. Um, I didn't sleep very well. I'm, I'll be honest, and I, I, I wish I had this, like, sob story to make you guys, oh, Arrow, poor guy, he works, no. You wanna know why I didn't sleep so well? Uh, I had a titty milk, uh, <laughs> I had titty milk. That's what it was. I had a, like, a Gamer Sups energy drink yesterday before the stream, and the stream started pretty late. Um, I don't think that's what did it, but... Um, normally when I go to bed at like 5, 6 in the morning, I'm like, can't keep my eyes open tired. But I was like, oh, I don't know. I could sleep. I'm indifferent. And then I was like, I got a video on my YouTube recommended. Now, I understand why the show Cops doesn't exist anymore. And we're not going to argue that. I don't feel like talking about police. I'm not interested. However, there is a YouTube channel. Like, I think it's Code Blue Vids or Code Blue Cams or something like that. And it's like cop stuff. But it's all wacky. Like, n like, nothing really happens where they're like, I need to arrest somebody because they robbed a bank and there's a shootout. You know what I mean? It's all like, like the one I remember watching from last night is a dude hit a cop and was so drunk that the cop like, was like, holy shit, I just got hit and I'm a freaking the fuck out and I'm going to go check this guy out and see if he's okay. And the guy's in his car and he just like slowly looks at the driver's door and goes, what's going on, bud? with a traffic light like hanging over the car like how fucking out of it do you have to be <laughs> like, holy shit so yeah i just couldn't put the fucking thing down yesterday my fault it was like 11 o'clock i'm like i should go to bed <laughs> put my phone down we've did it we've golded all the races I awarded for gold medal and gold medal GP. Oh, that was the name of the GP. Well, that was incredibly fucking easy. I thought that was going to take me another like 45 minutes. I didn't do this at the end of the last stream because I thought it was going to take forever. It literally took me what, like 20 minutes? Uh, I think it's supposed to be like cart IRL type thing. Yeah, it would have been IRL still. We are done racing now, ladies and gentlemen. No more races to do. We have golded all of the races. So now we are strictly doing crash mode. Uh, there's still quite a bit to do. 
So, you know, like we were only about halfway done the crash modes in Europe. So there's, like I said, um, and we're going for 100%. So um, we need all those trophies. We need all those cars. We need all those signature takedowns. This is the part of the Let's Play I was not looking forward to. I mean, I'm going to enjoy the crash modes, but... Oh, well, hold on. Let me take another look. What did we have left to do? Um, so, trophies. This, I think, is going to be stressful. I think I can do the advanced and the expert without too much trouble. Um, the champion takedowns are really going to be up to you. Um, I don't know if you guys want to watch me grind Road Rages to get 2,000 total takedowns. I, I really don't think that's going to be interesting. Um, however, I will do it. It's not, I don't think it's going to be hard. It's literally just going to be doing events over and over and over again. So uh, I think these two will be the, the tricky ones in terms of like getting them done. And then this one is going to be a, just doing them. You know what I mean? It's going to be just putting, putting in the time. Um, signature takedowns might be a little rough uh i don't think we're the we're missing too much a lot of these are just like hit a car into a thing like uh like a like a vehicle rather than like a um uh a thing like a like a object uh i don't know it might not be as bad as i thought the trophies are definitely gonna be um up to you guys though well we'll cross that bridge when we come to it i'm surprised i'm at 75 percent with all these crash modes left to do. Well, let's continue in North America. Hey, what's the matter with you? Is your nav system working? Then why aren't you at the Silver Lake Junction? Start uh... Smell my feet. Striker. Take one insane burner, a street filled that's with me. traffic, a car filled with boost, that's me. and ignite. And that's me! Holy fuck. Okay. This could be hilarious if I could pull this off. I might, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen right now. I'm gonna call it. Uh... I'm going to hit a pole. I'm not going to try to hit a pole. I just kind of know how these things end. Nah, I'll try. I, I think I need the boost for this, but we'll give it a whirl. Oh, no, I got to angle it. I got to angle it way more. I do not need the boost, though. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Uh, tank. We'll 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 save this attempt because that was that was re that was R and D. There we go. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I, your bits are safe. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Take one insane burner. You're good. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if this isn't like like disrespectful because I think any kind of donation is super welcomed and super like I'm super appreciative of it. The 199 bit notification is literally my favorite thing. I love it. So if you're thinking about like, oh, I kind of want to give like 150 bits, maybe 200 bits, please do the 199. It's my favorite fucking thing. Boom! I busted a nut. I busted a nut with my car. I gotta take some of the... The top. The highs. Not the top. Fucking... Where's your body? I sound a bit nasally. I gotta add in a little bit more lows into my voice here, I think. Especially since I'm gonna have this mic for a month. My haunting license. <laughs> you got a license for haunting? Oi, oi, mate. Did I get gold? I did. I wasn't even paying attention. I was not even paying attention. Ain't no coffee like free coffee, by the way. I'm so stoked on that. I had enough Starbucks points. Uh, I can continue renting it at Nauseam Thunder. Like, all I would have to do is call them and they would just charge my credit card. I don't have to go in anymore, especially since I have the Cloud Lifter and stuff now. However, I don't think it makes sense to spend $60 a month to rent a microphone when I can buy one for about $200. I think if I spent $120 on rental equipment, I've I've started going backwards. For one month, in a, in a pinch, 
so I can do some research and see what I need, see what I don't need, great. But long term, probably not. I do love this mic, though. I think it sounds fantastic. Uh, and granted, like, it sounds good, and I still have a lot more I could do with it. Like, the, the tuning in OBS and the tuning on my mixer are for a completely different microphone. So, um, I could probably still make myself sound way better. Uh, I just don't have the, I haven't had the time to, to dial it in yet. Man, I'm so bummed. I mean, I mean you, know, you, can, you know what? Shout out to Long and McQuaid in Canada, Ontario. Um, the dude, I forget the guy's name, but he had like a, a Movember mustache tattoos was really nice. Um, I went in with my ARTC one, which is ART is like their great value brand for Long and McQuaid. So it's like their, I don't know what, what you'd call it, their house brand, I guess. Um, and it was recommended to me at the time, but like, they're like, this is a budget microphone. Like it might break. I'm like, ah, it'll be fine. It was not fine. I bought it in August of last year, um, so it's just out of warranty. And the guy's like, well, we do repairs, so we could fix this if you'd like. And I was like, and, but he was like, but it was a $150 microphone. So the repair is probably going to cost, it might not cost the price of the microphone, but it's not going to make sense. I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. So I'm looking at a... I didn't fucking pay attention to anything here, guys. We're flying blind. I need the second kaboom. Hi dad. Where is the where is the green Did I get it? Oh there <laughs> Got it. Okay, we're good. Dude, for how rough that started. I hope that's still gold. Why'd my old light break? I have no idea. He says after going, eh! <laughs> idiot. Um, but I'm looking at an ET2035 right now from audio. I'm going to go audio technica. It's just deciding between the 2020 and the 2035. Um, I don't know what the difference is because I keep watching reviews and it doesn't seem like there's much of a, a much of a difference, but. The one's like 150 bucks and the other one's 200. Is it just newer? No, they, they, there is a difference, Kohai, but I all I did so far in terms of research was look up a like test on a YouTube video. And obviously that's not um that's not the perfect uh example, right? So fall uh, reference by the way. Looking out across the waterfront location, all I can see is carnage. Crash junctions. Yeah, I'm sure there's a website where I can, like, look at specs side by side. I mean, it's only $50 difference, but also I'm not an idiot, and I don't want to spend money that isn't necessary. I know the 2020 is a great microphone, but the guts of what I had, other than the build quality, obviously, <laughs> but the guts of what I had apparently um, were very similar to a 2035. Another thing I'm waiting for, too, is uh, keeping... Oh, you know, this probably isn't the best way to go, but I'm fucking curious. This isn't... Okay, the cool ramp was not the way to go, guys. I, 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 I like... The, there's a twisty ramp. I want to see what it's... What's going on? Take one insane burner, a street filled with... I've got the power. The power is not an issue, Thunder. And ignite. I've got enough phantom power right now to run my Shure and my Cloud Lifter. Oh, fuck, it is that way. I've been duped. I've been hoodwinked. That was the way to go. Okay. <laughs> Take one insane burner. But yeah, I'll do some research and I'm mostly waiting because it's middle of November so Black Friday sales are coming um and then on top of that uh 
It should be like right here. Man, if only I could move my fucking camera. Yeah, I didn't even see it. Holy shit, hold on. We're not gonna get anything here. I just wanna ride this out. Oh, I just, I just missed it, bro. Yeah, don't bother now, Thunder. I'll do it in my own time. I wanna see it for myself. I, 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 I trust you, but also, you know. It's my money. I wanna do my own research. All right, we need a plan here. It's about causing as much damage as possible. That's not the plan. <laughs> the crash junction. Grab whatever pickups um, you can and watch the greatest crashing chain reaction ever. Hmm. I'm wondering if I jump off the right side. Oh, gold's 400? Never fucking mind. Never mind. I'm overthinking it. There we go. I didn't realize the gold was that low. Okay. The f <laughs> Literally, you could you could wreck your own car. If you get the 4X, you're fine. Uh, invisible wall. Oh, I'll take the pole. That'll work. Nice. We should be fine. Hi there. Knock me into the boom thing. Yeah. What's up, bitches? Invisible wall. I nutted. Yep, that's what I was looking. It's gonna. It has to be XLR. I'm not going back to USB because it's gonna complicate a bunch of shit. It has to be an XLR. Um, and I, it has to be something that I can use at least a cloud lifter with, not a um, audio interface, because it needs to have an XLR output. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, Thunder, it would make my life exponentially worse. <laughs> Especially with the dual PC, it, it's, it, it would be a struggle. So. Okay, all right. Here's the challenge. We have a stack of hollow... Fear factor. Take me back to a time when Joe Rogan wasn't a fucking dildo. Silver Lake. The vacation destination where all you can hear are the sounds of the All right, birds. I'm going to be intelligent here. I'm going to try. Oh, and the beautiful so there's a there's a doodad here. Pile into the latest crash junction. Holy See fuck. I want to do I oh. I wanted to blow up in the RVs. I tried to just tap the brake and I don't think it worked. I think I have to get off the gas. Uh, you know, I don't think I need to apologize because I, I think everybody here understands that like tech issues happen, especially like when you're live on the internet. Oh no. Oh no. Too far. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Um, but I am fucking sorry for the last week. <laughs> this has been stupid. Three steps to I've been, I'm like, well, I'm full time again. Uh, we're streaming five days a week again, and I've had an issue, like, every day. It's really goddamn annoying, but uh, hopefully... Everything's sorted now. Capture cards changed out. Mic's fixed for now. Uh, I even got a new cable for my, uh, my headphones. Uh... Shit. I was trying to hit the, the tractor trailer. I wouldn't have thunder USB mics are like especially when you're streaming and not doing like well I do like voiceovers and stuff now so I'm kind of looking at more fancy shit and I would have been looking to go XLR anyway but my Yeti was still fine when I was using it it wasn't bad especially with like all the the voice meter filters I had running through it it was fine for what it was it just was you know on its last legs a little bit yes. there we go oh my fucking god Holy shit. Ah, uh, that did all of nothing. No! Why is it? Ah! 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 A piece! Ah, damn it! Hi, Los. Welcome back. All, all my things work this time. Take one and it took an hour, but we're there now. <laughs> Everything works.
But yeah, the only reason I went to XLR was um, to have a USB mic do what I wanted it to do was so there's so much software and so many things to go wrong. I remember the day I said, fuck it, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I was in a race in iRacing, and uh, if you bump the Yeti's mic, or the Yeti's USB cable, um, it disconnects, and if it disconnects while plugged into voice meter, you just lose audio on everything. So I'm on the grid in iRacing, and I bumped my mic by accident, obviously. I didn't do it on purpose. Um... And I lost audio. And a lot of times, too, when you lose audio, like, all the software just starts panicking. So everything just runs like dog shit. So not only did I have no audio, I was at, like, 20 frames per second. And in a sim, in a racing sim, not good. I am I was mad. I'm still mad. Hey, we got a times two. Oh, shit, what's up, Lamp? Thank you for the follow. How we doing? If you wonder, if you're wondering what what fast people in yesterday's race looked like, talk to that gentleman right there. <laughs> Somebody who's driven a GT3 more than I uh, uh, once. Actually, no. Who am I kidding? Apparently, I'm Casey Kerwin. So, shock man. I saw those too. The headphones that come with it are pretty nice. I saw some uh, some Pioneer headphones today that I want to buy. Should be splat if I've got some extra equipment money, money, I'll go get them. I want them for DJing. I don't like using my uh, we got the speed, gamer headphones for DJing. Got the destruction. I'm Striker, covering all the LMP2 Andy. Action here on Crash okay, you know what you're doing. Holy that is a great question, Badger. Good morning, question Why mark. Am I awake now? Man, if only I had paid attention to what I was just doing. Yeah, I, I have not driven road in a serious fashion since I did, like, three pilot sport races, like, two years ago. Let's start the show! Hopefully, me just driving into an intersection and exploding was enough to cause problems. Oh, yeah, they're coming to a stop. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Someone threw a bumper into the... Uh, yes! That's all I needed. Drive more road? I mean, like, I... I did road, I just kind of like, okay. Uh, so for context, I do the 24 hours of Daytona every year solo. So once I'm done that, I'm like, I do not want to race road in a serious compassion ever again. I've been doing a lot of dirt road. I'm having a lot of fun with it uh, in the trucks. Also, I'm like hyper competitive. So like I'll get into a race and finish fifth. I'm with people my skill level like that's where I should be and I'll be pissed off I barely race because of your painting like painting painting oh no okay yeah painting paint yeah you know Davin I saw that yesterday that's why I followed you I'm like fuck and if a friend of Davin's is a friend of mine all I can see I am but on a single monitor. I feel like it's holding me back. Crash FM, I crashed yesterday because I thought some dude on the last corner of a road Atlanta, Atlanta, idiot, road America, the last turn, uh, I thought some dude was holding me right to the curb, so I just drove off the track like a dum-dum. It turns out I had like a car length, and I'm just an idiot. I'm going to start putting shrimp hours on when I go to bed, and I might regret that, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, no, we're just going to not talk about that. We're just going to gloss over that if we don't mind. Ah, the crash <laughs> oh junctions God. are open for business. How much damage can you create? Not a lot. That one bus was going to get fucked up, but other than that, uh, yeah, okay, I had the right idea. I just panicked. I'm not a big NASCAR person either, to be honest. I do, uh, my, my thing is, is, uh, is drifting. Is sim drifting. Did I get the, I think I did. I heard, I heard something there. I would like to go kaboom. I, I'm, I would love an earth shattering kaboom. Speaking of which, Davin, I might need you. 
Uh, I might be making a purchase here from uh, drive through Designs here soon. Well, I say that. I'm going to send you the car and, sit and say, see if it's all fucky or not. Because I remember the last time I was like, hey, can you do my hot pick car? I think there was like the template or something was poo poo garbage. However, the, the cars in DCGP are a lot more like they're made to be used by a bunch of people. They're a lot more optimized for stuff like that. I, uh, DCGP is a European, uh, drift league, but they have nothing to do with ESDA other than just being, like, pals. So I feel like I can run in there without anyone going, like, hey, you're the commentator for ESDA. They're just giving you free wins. Um, it's a top 48, so there's a lot more of a chance to qualify. Cutoff scores are, like, fucking 82, which is doable for me. Um, and the first track is Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. It's Montreal. I have to. Fi I need to know. <laughs> I, I I must know. What's up, Kimmy? I haven't competed in like, other than that one round of hot pit in years. So I'm stoked to get back into it. Top tips to succeed on the alpine slopes. If you want to cause carnage. Make sure you hit something. It would be nice to have like an Assetto Corsa game that was uh, super focused and competitive. What the fuck? One, use crash nav to find yourself a busy crash junction. What the two, fuck? Hit the gas and the boost. Number three, target as much traffic as you can and check your nav for the latest crash junction. What just beep booped? Weird. Oh wait, well. I heard a Windows noise, and I looked both of my computers and see, like, where is this noise coming from? GG on the, uh, I don't know if you're still here, Lamp, but GG in the third yesterday. That race was fucking miserable. I didn't want to say too much on Twitter, because I didn't want to, like... Uh, I didn't want the guy who I would be, like, mildly talking shit about to see it and be like, You're being toxic! But if you saw the clip that I posted on Twitter yesterday, you know exactly why I'm fucking mad. Well, I'm not, I'm not mad about it anymore, but... Oh, Cisco, apparently there's something going on there, by the way. I'm not going to say too much, because I don't know how much of this is true, but... Apparently something's happening. So, I don't, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say something, and I don't want to sound like I'm patronizing, because I'm not familiar with your background and how much of this kind of stuff you've done. Whenever you run, like, a big charity race, like, I do Jimmy Broadbent's race every year, it's always like this. You get people that are, like, like, like you and Quirk and, um, Love 46, like, people who are actually very fast and competent and know what they're doing, and you guys are normally at the front. Then you have people like, like me who are not garbage, but definitely not as fast as you guys. They're kind of farting around in the middle. A lot of us, I'm I'm the opposite. I'm way too timid when I'm doing shit like this. I don't want to ruin anybody's race, but a lot of people are like, it's for fun, and they'll just like knock people out of the way. They don't give a shit. Um, but they're not like intent wrecking people. They're just silly aggressive. That happens. And then you have people with 500 eye rating at the back that have no fucking clue what they're doing. Um, who, you know, are, again, aren't intentionally wrecking people, but they'll blow apexes, blow breaking points, cause issues. It, it happens. It's part of it. Where I was a little annoyed yesterday is I'm sure there was more than one guy doing it. I know that this Isaac dude got in trouble. Someone yelled at him, and he definitely fucking hit me. He shoved me off the track because I was ex I dared to exist. Um, but this other gentleman, who will remain nameless... Uh, I guess got punted around a little bit and instead of just going this is for charity I should probably not be a child decided to just start hitting people on purpose um, and then after he finished hitting everybody on purpose he parked his car and then complained about people hitting people on purpose 
Not mm, that's mm. now now we have a problem. Now now I'm upset. Now I'm a little upset. Like I still think that if you show up to one of these charity races and don't take it seriously whatsoever and blow corners and run into people and go ha 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 ha, you're like you're kind of a, a dickhead. But like, if you're intentionally wrecking people, we have reached a new level of you're being a jerk. Oh man, I wish I just didn't give a fuck because I'd show you guys this guy's vod. It's hilarious. He does a bunch of shit and then ten minutes later he's like complaining about. Oh, I hate people who just don't take this race seriously and they come here and they cause problems and it's literally exactly what the guy was doing to, like he has no fucking ah, I was awful he has no fucking sense of you know but it was super early in the morning for him and apparently he had to go work and he was frustrated so I'm sure it's something that he's gonna look back on and go wow that was really stupid of me I don't think uh, I don't think this dude's malicious. I just think that he wasn't thinking. I mean, I, I think a lot of us have had those moments in, in video games where like, all right, I'm not gonna go with that ramp. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that ramp. Um, I mean, I have I've had moments where I got angry and took people out on purpose. I did it in a Jetta race. I did it in the uh, uh, in a Sim Lab <laughs> production car challenge race. You know, like it's happened. Yeah, dude, you kicked ass. I saw your lap time. I thought I was doing okay running like low 206s, high 205s, and I saw your lap times. I was like, what in the hell? NLR are pretty cool for that. Honestly, they're a really cool company. Anybody I've ever talked to behind the scenes with Next Level have been super dope. Uh, they've been really cool with us in ESDA, and I really love what they're doing. Like they they support so much in the sim racing scene. Um, like I I obviously I'm a little biased. I'm right, for what I'm sitting in, but like they're a super fucking cool company. They don't have to support stuff like sim sim drifting and like. Um, like Instagram drifters and stuff, but they do so anyway. Checking the Riviera crash records on burnout a lot of the big like um, cockpit companies only support like the top 1% of sim racing streamers. And I think it's cool that like NLR goes after some smaller guy guys too. They're, they're, they're really neat dudes. Hi Badger, bye Badger. Enjoy work or don't. I'm not your dad. Sorry I started so late today. Planning a crash? Hit boost. PS2. Yeah, it was on PS2. I'm playing on the uh on the Xbox 360. Cause my PS2 capture quality is like terrible. It used to not be terrible. I think it might just be just have been underground too. So I went back and fuck. I, I went back and watched some PH2, P, PS2, PS2 footage of mine, and it did not look as bad as it did for Underground 2. Either way, I'm buying a new uh, upscaler. I'm hoping it goes on sale, but also the guy selling it is just a guy. So normally, like, oh, stop, 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 stop. Fuck. We gotta redo it. Oh, we'll see. Heartbreaker gets rid of half your score, I think. So that would leave me with a 2x multiplier, if my math is correct, which it's not. So let's see what happens here. Ooh! Ah! Oh yeah, there was a normal amount of vowels in yesterday's race. I was really stoked on that. Also, there was a lot of really, like, like yourself included, there was a lot of really fucking cool people that were in the race yesterday. Um, that like getting tagged in all the social posts, um, I discovered, I'm like, wow, these guys are cool. They seem neat. Except for that one guy who will remain, remain nameless, but. Oh, I mean, dude, if we would have had that race at 2 PM, I would have loved getting the shit. Mo I would have loved getting Molly whopped by fucking V O O Z C Z squiggle fucking N with a little doodad on it. E Exante goo fucking Q Q seven. 
uh, explosion emoji, a 100 emoji. I would have got that. Sh no. No. I'm already mad getting fucking dunked on by Jeff Johnson. Like. What's up, Wander? Letter B in square. There is a boost there. Did I get it? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Letting dog out. So I was just checking. Oh, are you the Baja men? I'm funny. I'm fucking funny. I'm fucking fuck you. I'm I'm hilarious. My stream. My stream. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Oh, that's not good at all! <laughs> I'm trying not to yell into the microphone. I don't want to break a microphone that's expensive and not mine. I'm really glad I, like, looked into renting them, though. Holy shit. We were just gonna not have a mic for a month. Or not have a... A good mic, I should say. Did I stop? Yeah. And I'm gonna curve this way. Sweet. We're, we're set. We're good. Boom. I'm coming back! Maybe. No. I was hoping I get some height on it so I can land on one of those tankers and go... Oh, boom. No, that's not what happened at all. 1.1 million dollars. I'm so tired, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking exhausted. Oh, cool. Hold on. I just noticed something wrong with my OBS. I'm going to fix it before we get John Cena jump scared. There we go. Going to check the stream deck to see if it's broken on this side. And it's not. It's just the stream deck being a little shitter. Already did that joke, Skelly. Get the fuck out of here. Shit dick sex haver. Counting down to carnage. Vineyard crash junction. I, it. Available. I got coffee. I got free coffee because I had enough fucking... Internet points. Oh, hi, Cisco. What if I'm a... I mean, both are valid. There's a Dogs are cute. Cats are cute. I, feel the need to I love it. cats. I'm fucking allergic. I have no choice. Skelly, I just mentally now, I just imagine you being, you know, like. Uh, in the movies, when the bully has the guy like standing behind him, just kind of parroting everything he says. That's you. Oh, they kissed. Holy shit. What is fucking happening here? Oh, my God, you fat fuckers. Look at these chubby shits. I couldn't go anywhere. What is it, the big rig convention? What the hell? What is Rob coming down here to do? I don't trust you, Robert. I got a chaos theory for you. No. Okay. I don't even think it's Rob. I heard someone run, like, run downstairs. And normally that's Rob coming down here to make a really funny joke. Let's try this. Go, 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 go. Oh. No. I was hoping I could bounce off the truck and, like, skid and then get pushed forward. That's not what happened. This one might be a little trucky. Wow. Ah, the crash jump. So I don't know if anyone caught what I just said. <sighs> this one might be a little trucky is what I... What I 
I didn't even I didn't even try. I okay. Well, that's fair. Let's do let's get this here, out of the here, way. Here we go. Not fun. I promise it was not on purpose. I like stumbled on my words and then I was like, aha. Wait a minute. Go! Go! Alright, well. Something has happened here at least. Where am I? There am I. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm boxed in! I'm in a... Steel case of emotion. Get the other kaboom. It's right there! Okay, I might skip the whole... Bounce off the truck thing. As much damage as possible. Smash into the crash junction. Grab whatever pickup. I'm trying to like and watch the greatest crash. Yeah, like like use ever. the angle of that truck. But I, you basically need like I mean you don't need the 4x to win everything, but it. When you think about it, this is just good. Whoa. The game I'm actually gonna skip the turbo altogether. Driving home to Chicago, what flavor of fun do I want for the drive, route-wise? I mean, what are the options? Yeah, boom. You're done, though. Stink. Shut up. Akina <laughs> Opel? Never mind, that was funny. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, nice. That first truck was a lie. Just run into the thing that makes your car instantly explode and you win. Cool. I need a million more and then we add the funny number. Vineyard Crash Carnage launching in two. It's about causing as much damage Oh, Davin, are you still here? Smash into the crash junction. Are you lurking, Grab my big fan? You can. Not my big fan. That was gross. Didn't like that. Uh, I have a question. If he's not here. He's a bastard, and I'm not friends with him anymore. I'm joking. Oh. Yeah, boom. I might be going too fast. Um, oh, I think you may have answered. Cisco may have answered the question I had to ask Davin. Where is the thing that I need? Oh, come on, baby. No, I got the fuck it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you see that green thing right there? That's what I was trying to hit. But because I can't move the camera around in this perfect video game, that's literally the only thing wrong with this game is you can't move the camera in crash mode. Still gold in it though, somehow. Still gold in it. I'm going to check what Cisco had to say. That's fucking hilarious. Okay, that's not the question I had, but... That's fucking hilarious. Oh, wait. Nice. I need to get in a couple single car accidents so I can get to 69, 420. And then 666, I guess, for the last Getting three letters. The letters. Traffic I'm tired. Up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna finish streaming. I don't use this bed to sleep in, but I'm gonna take a nap. It's about causing as much damage as possible. This is my, uh, my VR crash. bed. Grab when we're watching movies. And watch the greatest crashing chain reaction ever. I respect your opinion, Tang, even if it is incorrect. That's 
what I wanted. Howdy, fellers. Me and my band are here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my, oh my goodness. Thunder, I literally, if I want to watch a movie, just go in VR. <laughs> Holy shit, there's cars in space. Oh my god. I saw a truck going to the goddamn moon. Like you go to a movie world, they have everything you could ever want. I was going to call Second Life the sex game, but a lot of people bang in VR chat too, so I mean, <laughs> kind of the pot call in the kettle black. People doing porn. I mean, that's what gets the attention. There's so much like cool art stuff happening in uh, in VR chat. It's silly. Like with people doing with worlds and oh my god, it's an autobus. City bus. Um. If you want some serious alpine air. Time, especially since people are learning how to VJ now, so like you can go to a. Um, a uh, a show or a DJ night where visuals are being done live. The music. Some people have hardware setups now, so they can make the music live. It's not just DJing. Like there's crazy shit happening in VR. Also, dick and butt. There's also dick and butt. Can't get around the dick and butt. That's unfortunately. Well, maybe not unfortunately, but depending how you look at it. Uh oh. I did not turn in time. All right, let's go for the 2x and see what happens. Howdy, fellers. I don't... Uh-oh. Camera. All right. I might have a hope of something happening here, then. Holy shit, that... This... Ex uh, this... This... That... That escalated quickly. Not a whole lot going on here in terms of a junction. Did I get it? Not even close. Well, maybe close. I think it was probably like 400. 400. I had a moment of contemplation there for some reason. Ignite. Oh, it already happened. There's, like, been full bands. Um, there's people that do karaoke open mic all the time. Um, there's, like, um, like Vocaloid-style stuff that happens as well. Ah, uh, shit. Is it stand-up comedy? I'm sure. I mean, you can just go to a public world and people watch. That's all the comedy you'll ever need. I uh, The last time I, I heard of a friend going to a public world, um, a e-boy and his girlfriend were argued for about two hours. And, like, there was a circle of people around them. So I don't know if it was, like, a public... What do you call it? Oh, no. I mean, like, actual fucking drums and, like, actual fucking guitars and, like, actual... Like, an actual band. I'm sure that exists too, but take one insane burner, a street I'm gonna try not to boost on the start. Maybe that's I was going way too fast. Oh, uh, come on. Blow me. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to go for this 4X for a bit, because it's a guaranteed gold, but Kelp, I have a uh, an avatar. That's the uh, that's the Daytona USA Hornet. But when you speak, the hood flaps open and closed. It's hilarious. Uh, 
I only use it when I'm like in desktop and just kind of hanging out in the corner, but it's comedy. Someone's like, wow, what's like cool, cool avatar? And then go, it's fucking funny. It's so stupid. Such a silly video game. There's a there's a reason I wanted to spend like fifteen hundred bucks on uh, on an index and full body tracking and such a silly video game. Like also boobs, like the boobs are cool. Also that did not take anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to. Can I explode again, please? Come on, fellas! Yeah! Oh, this guy in the... Oh, my God. That coop in front of me is... They are not going to be in Rush Hour 3. You can, like, like get trackers that you, like, elbow tracking. Like, I guarantee you, if you can think of it, it's probably being done already in VR. In VR chat, at least. Not in fucking the Z land of the Zuckerberg. Hey guys, we've got legs. You know that thing that like that weeb video game's been doing for like five years? We can do that now. Ha ha ha. Thanks, Zuck. Real cool. That family of four is not going to be in burnout revenge. Rest in peace, Ode Oil family. I, I still can't believe that Zuckerberg is proud of creating a thing that a bunch of goobers on an anime titty video game have been doing and doing better for literally years that's that comedy is not lost on me it's very funny and some haptics now uh i know i looked into it last night you can get like eye tracking mouth tracking so when you talk like your avatar's mouth is like synced up to you. it's not perfect but it's a lot better an eight-year-old Unity game that runs like garbage. <laughs> like, like, the game runs like poo. <laughs> I have friends that are like, I have a 1080 and I turn around and, and my frames go to like five. See ya, I'm out of here. Peace. I panicked. I need to get Crash Breaker like now. Get a tire in the other lane, something. Shit. What's up, Keems? Okay, hold your horses, Dorset. I got a 4X. Yeah, blow me. PP head. Miss these nuts. Easy game. The crash mode in this game is significantly worse than Revenge, and the crash mode in this game is pretty fantastic. I don't know what that what what you're gonna grab out of that, but as much as I do think the the that Burnout Three and Burnout Revenge are kind of interchangeable and like the goat status of Burnout games, at least for me, um, the crash mode is better in Revenge. How many times, people? You can move the camera. You have a lot more control. The cars have actual crash stats. You can choose so your car. A buddy of mine, aka my dad, tells my me dad. he's just figured out the secret to golden crashes. Just drop in. Uh, they're actually a lot harder too. This, you get the 4x game over. You win. Like it's, you can do whatever you want after that. I wish. In, I can I, I kind of understand. I'm gonna go off here for a second i kind of understand why burnout crash was a top-down game because i think it was meant to be like a mobile game right or at least it was available on mobile it looked very mobile friendly um that's not what people wanted <laughs> i disagree with you emerald but i think that's the main contingent i like the risk reward factor of having um all the traffic be able to kill you I can't see any there there that'll work no 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 howdy fellers them nuke boys got themselves in a heap of trouble holy fuck oh my god my frames <laughs> oh my god no I'm going the wrong way shit shit Shit, 
Give me the 2x at least. I think I got it. Yep, we got the 2x. Oh my god, the frame rate. Burn out three of the video games. Kill me, please. Just kill me. Alright, I'm gonna let this play out. What the fuck happened? This one's fun. If I need to grind uh, money, I hope this one pays out a lot. It does. 500 base score. We're going to get the times two on this bad boy. If I get the four, I literally got lost. I had no idea where we were there for a minute. So if I would have got the four, I would have been like two milli, I think. Yeah. No? We got 41 vehicles. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw that, but I guess I got the boost off the start and watching a semi truck just gonna go, gotta go! <laughs> Optimus Prime has to pee. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> What's up, Tom? Take the air I have fixed my microphone line. problem, That's if you can notice. By that, I mean I got a different one. Well, I didn't buy a different one. I don't know. You know what I mean. Maybe. The speed, the beauty. Steel Tsunami sounds like a band. You guys need a band name. Burnout 3 video game just gave you one. I gotta stop saying that. That's Davin's thing. Holy shit! Oh, we're in for it now, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. 4,000... 400,000 score. I expect audio issues here. As of today, they should be fixed for at least a month. I'm waiting for this tuk tuk or whatever this is. Oh, I'm just gonna drive around. Poof! Amazing. Literally all of my audio within the last seven days is broken in some way, shape or form. So there's nothing left to be broken. Except for me. Insert, uh, I think it's Evanescence that does that song. Sweet. Why is this peaceful? Like, it's the opposite of peaceful, but it's peaceful. I love this song. It's kind of fucking cool that this soundtrack is so goaded. That there's songs on it that are underrated. Isn't that hilarious? You ever seen a Hollywood car chase like everyone thinks of the Burnout soundtrack and they name like uh, from first to last, My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, but I'm like Go Betty Go, the Mo the Mooney Suzuki. There's so much good music on this game. There is, I don't think, uh, maybe, maybe the Finger Eleven song is not as good, but that might just me not liking Finger Eleven as much as the rest of the bands on the soundtrack. Number two. Hit the gas it's not necessarily bad. I just don't think it's as good as everything else. Buckle up. Yeah, that's, you know. I'll try. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, andale. Uno, tres. Dos, uno, cuatro. I don't speak Spanish. Shit, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Well, if, if all the things not to get, I think the crash breaker was the least consequential. Let me, let me go. I want to go boom. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, that was. <laughs> Just like in bed, I came, but it was way too late. I guess I'll go. Still go. I kind of want to try that again and get the car over the wall. However. Got a lot of ground to cover in this here video game, so I'm, I'm going to keep going. I think that 90 million is our last car to unlock. Let me check. 84% of the way done the game. Ba, 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 ba. Phantom Planet. What is that? Where do I know that from? Is that a band or an album? Can't sit on this screen for too long, or we'll get DMCA'd in the VOD, and I'm about to post a VOD to YouTube, and dirt, dirt. 
Oh, it's a band. Is Phantom Planet in this game? Fuck. I was like, wait a minute. Silver Lake. The vacation destination Honestly, I think this song is my burnout song. Orpheus? It, it's the song that reminds me of Burnout 3 the most of the whole soundtrack. There are more iconic songs, but that's the Burnout 3 song. Oh, and Lazy Generation, I guess. This game, maybe, maybe? You might be thinking of, of Revenge. They're, I get the, them confused all the time. But I could be wrong, too. I could also be an idiot. I don't think I'm wrong, but I might be wrong. The potential for being incorrect is there. Hey, ladies! I have exploded in a timely manner. What's up, guys? It's your boy. Multi-million dollar car wreck here. Fuck off. <laughs> What language was that? Was that Thai? What's that? I thought that this, uh, this locale was supposed to be based on Hong Kong, but... What is that? It looks like Indonesian? I'm talking out of my ass, so, like... I don't know, uh, Asian languages very well. Thailand? Yeah. I could tell the difference between, like, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean a little bit. I don't know what the words mean. It's just, like, you can kind of tell what the symbols are. I would definitely not, like... If you put a gun to my head, I'm not going to get it right 100% of the time. But The fourth lap of the burnout crash... Okay, so we're on the last loop of the tour. There's 23 events left, guys. And then the game's done. Well, the fun part What's of the up, game's guys? done. I'm and I'm just down Pick up the pieces. That's what they call me in the club, long you nose cab. High level destruction coming your way out here in Silver Lake. Get on the gas. Get on the boost. All right. Get into the action. Hit the right humidu. Jump in the ding dang. There. Grab the the what's it for, and then oh wow, this is gonna be bad. It's tagalog. Oh, so it's the Philippines. Interesting. Cool. Today I learned. What's up, Scoops? I know you've been here, but what's up, Scoops? Scoops, do you... If I say I've been watching a guy post F... Uh, not F1. What's the other sport? Uh, NHL clips. Uh, on YouTube. Do you know what I'm talking... Holy shit, the RVs... There is going to be a bad vacation. Oh my god. Eck, that's my boy. I feel like I'm actually walking, walking hockey, watching hockey now. Hey guys, another gold medal. Who would have who thought? Yeah, the crash mode in this game is not as good. Scranton. What about Eck? I just started watching Eck like a, like two or three days ago. It's a I don't like I don't have the, the the mental capacity to sit down and watch a hockey game anymore, unless it's like international hockey or uh, playoff hockey. Davin, I have a question for you that may, is going to involve you receiving money we potentially. Must be in the billions by now. The crash totals are really racking up. How how how? much you can dm me the answer if you like oh okay my bad i do know time and time again i told you i would i could be an idiot weasel you can never take arrow being an idiot off the table uh how much is it roughly i think you're already gonna know where i'm going with this um for a manufacturer kit for the arca car not a livery per se just a manufacturer, if you know what I'm talking about. I have the Kia, but I have another idea. I know. I asked Cisco how much he's paying you, and then he never responded, so you're here. 
You can DM me the answer if you want. I don't care. I just, I, I feel like you know where I'm going with this. Well, it was in our fucking group chat with a bunch of other things happening. You just missed it. I won't spoil what you're doing for Cisco either. I'm asking delivery, man. Oh, well, that would explain why he didn't tell me. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Surprise, by the way. The truck just cuts through everything. Nothing slowed me down whatsoever. I'm look at the momentum. I am still going. Oh, my God. This is the Rhino GT, Rhino GT4 way of uh, doing crash mode in this game. We are not Rhino GT4. I love you, Ryan. I was making a joke. Oh, man. I wish... Ladies and gentlemen. Why can't I put multiple accounts, Discord accounts, on my phone? Why is that a desktop-only feature? Annoying. Crash FM and Striker are keeping eyes on all things Crash. Check out the downtown standings on Bur It's very frustrating. I mean, it's nice they have it at all, but, you know. The downtown traffic is backing up and the opportunities are ripe. Get there you go. Oh, Davin's playing the Modern Warfare Call of Duty video game. Oh, okay. That's completely reasonable. All right, Davin, you don't sleep. I'll talk to you after. I'll talk to you after. I got my answer though, and the answer is, I'm doing it. Um, ah, uh, ah, uh, no! It was the ramp a bait? What the fuck? Man, I love downtown. Want the latest crash action? Keep okay, maybe I should actually look at this. So, I think the goal here is going to get that 4x, and hopefully we can just, like, ass-drag our way into, uh... I got all the speed in the world. Rahua! Peace, nerd. Okay, go! Fuck! Are you shitting me? Uh, <laughs> we are downtown on Crash Street, intersecting. I want my Forex. I'm holding forward on the control stick. It's not good enough. Oh, I got it. Holy shit. Thank you, video game. I definitely shouldn't have gotten that. That was a big fluke. <laughs> I love how like the crashes happen, right? Like, oh my god, there's so many like there's so many casualties. Da -da 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 -da. And then these two blue hatchbacks are just like, hold on! <laughs> this new time Fuck. We are downtown on Crash Street. I'm gonna keep trying it this way. I'm sure this, there's better ways of doing it, but keep trying. All right. I doubt.
I haven't used this on myself in a long time. <laughs> oh, okay, moving on. Uh, this is going to be a serious stacking car set. I don't know why I went for that silver so bad, but. Go! Oh. Nice. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, fuck these guys in particular. Come here. Merci, Twingo. It's not, they're not Twingos, but. I love how the red car's like, I'm safe. I disagree. Oh, here come our, here come the lads. This game is fun. It's such a silly little video game. <laughs> Where's the free bird gravy? Helicopter, helicopter. Honestly, uh, that song is not funny because somebody said helicopter, helicopter. It's funny because of the stock fucking f noise in the background. We are downtown on Crash Street, intersecting with Carnage and Mayhem. I once again missed the... We're going in blind here. Why? Holy shit. I'm on the scene of Driven. Oh my god, there's fucking two of them. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh god. I... I am... Roberto Marino. Wait, wait. No, who's the dude that got launched and exploded in fucking Driven? Hold on. Crash FM and Striker keeping eyes on all things Crash. Check Maybe this time. Oh, it was Mimo. Me Memo Marino, not Mimo. Me Mimo. Okay, I'm going to go the right side this time. The right side is better. Finding Mimo. I don't know why I said it like a goober. I don't know what that was about. I need to know, I need to know as a child, watching, having watched and driven and then watching like a little bit more of cart and like IRL, Roberto Marino and Mimo Mar Memo Marino having the same last name, very confusing. I'll still die on the hill that driven's not a bad movie. You guys are just a bunch of wieners. Maybe we'll watch it in discord. Uh, one of these days. I think that movie is an unfair amount of hate. Most of the criticism I've ever seen for Driven is all people just like, it's not accurate to the real life series. Jimmy Bly, big mood. And drive? Like the Ryan Reynolds movie? Really? Seriously? I thought people liked that movie. Or am I thinking of a different location, movie? All I can see is Trample, that's Crash actually funny. Junctions. That's comical. I... Everybody I've ever heard talk about Drive has had nothing but good things to say about it. I've never seen it, so I'm impartial on this one, but 
Or you can get a zippy doo die, you get a launch off of them bad boys, go up in the sky, get one of them kaboom booms, and then go down, down, go down there, get one of them money things, and then get one of them kaboom. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Drive is not a driving movie, I don't think. It's it's not... I don't think that's what that is. I think it's more of like a... It's kind of an artsy-fartsy movie from what I've gotten. Because he doesn't talk very much or at all. I don't know. It's not Ryan Reynolds, by the way. It's Ryan Gosling. I'm a bit stupid. Different guy. Nah, dude. It's a fucking movie. Who cares? I'll never understand people that are like... You didn't like the thing that I like. Like, it's a movie, man. Who cares? <laughs> Go outside. Eat a vegetable. Brush your teeth. Like, no we one cares. Our skyward bound at the waterfront. Yep, it's another crash junction, and we are going to be flying. The beauty of people having different opinions is that we all don't like the same thing. If we all liked the same thing, life would be very boring. I'm gonna snag that just in case. Honestly, I gotta start saying take a lap more. I do not, I do not say take a lap enough. Oh, here we go. Here, we are in the blender now. Welcome to Margaritaville. Honestly, relatable character, Nick. Oh, I'm going to go for the gold. I don't think I need it, but I'm going to go for it. I read that as Watanabe McLaren F1, and I was like, what does Ryo Watanabe have to do with this? I can't read. I'm tired. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I'm hungry, too. And it's... Only t it's ten o'clock already. Ugh. Crash junctions? No, no, no. I think this is it for uh for this region. Yep, this is our last crash junction in the states. Na, 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 na. It's about causing as much. <laughs> What's up, crash uh, Randall? Grab whatever I am you can. exhausted. Greatest crashing chain oh, I gotta whip a Larry and then do this. I gotta hang a Larry and do all this. I can't believe that worked. I didn't even want it. Oh, it's the scene from the beginning of the game. That's not what I want. I was hoping I'd bounce like off. What's up, Beardo? I am doing okay. I had a late start today. But I'm going to try to stream for the full four hours, but I'm already feeling it. And unfortunately, I spent the first hour farting around with my Xbox. And I got all that to do after, too. Yeah, bronze medal. God, who would have saw that one coming? about nine. Oh, and I know what time you go to work too. That's gross. We are I, uh, at the water. I stayed up all night watching wacky body cam videos and then uh... I had to go get a, uh, a preamp for my mic that I'm borrowing or rent well, borrowing. I mean, I guess renting is technically borrowing, but uh, I had to go get a preamp for the, this microphone. And uh, by the time I got back, my Xbox audio didn't work. So that took 45 minutes to figure out. And I'm, it's working, obviously. I'm still not sure we have it figured out, though. I'd love to know what the... Oh, no! Traffic lights! My one weakness. I Dude, I need to get, like... I need, like, one fucking taxi to hit... Oh, my God! Well... Someone notify that guy's family. 
I wanted to restart. Oh, so I had to go pick up. Okay. Yucky. Fuck you for being a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, I like police body cams. As much as I like, I understand why cops doesn't exist anymore and all that stuff. Uh, and I don't want to watch body cams of like people getting beat up and arrested and, and like, like fucked up. I found a channel that is just body cam footage. And obviously it's still like, like cop propaganda. So take for it what you will. Um, Cause they only show you the good things. Right. But it's all wacky shit. Like it's my guilty pleasure. Um, I said this in the beginning of the stream. I, I watched a bunch of videos yesterday, but there's one specifically of a dude that's not sober blows a red light hits the front of a of a, a ford edge or ford interceptor cop like suv hits a telephone on oh, a telephone pole but a um a traffic light pole the traffic lights collapse onto the car and <laughs> the cop's like oh my god i just got hit by a guy doing like 70 so he has like his minute and he's like composes himself gets out of the car goes to the driver's side door the guy that hit him and the guy is so fucked he like turns his head and just goes what's going on <laughs> like what do you mean <laughs> What do you mean? The, the officer is like, can you get out of the car, please? Like in a pretty calm voice, all things considered. Uh, and the guy goes, all right, cool. But he's so out of it that he doesn't put the car in park. And it just starts rolling forward. And like the, the, the traffic lights falling all over and there's fucking metal everywhere. <laughs> it's very funny. It's very funny. He went to jail. Um, that's what I mean. Like, I, I get why it doesn't exist anymore. And I also like understand why those videos exist um but at the same time like i can't help myself <laughs> it was very funny i watched that and i was like all right cool and i started going through recommended and recommended recommended and all of a sudden it was 9 a.m yeah i don't want to watch body cams of like people getting shot and like yucky you know what i mean i know that happens i'm not i'm not a fool i'm not gonna pretend it doesn't exist i just I wanted to watch some some silly little guys, and fortunately, we ran into some silly li silly little guys. Oh, it's like hitting them. Sovereign. Oh, that's a good brand. <laughs> I'm not driving. I'm traveling. <laughs> Congratulations. Good for you. I couldn't see a fucking thing. Literally scoops. I, it's the ex that's exactly what happened. Crash junctions. This is gonna be a beauty. Very funny video. Some of them are kind of serious. Like some guy was chasing a uh, like so an officer was chasing a uh, a guy doing 140 plus on the wrong side of the highway for like 20 minutes and then they finally called the pursuit off and someone's like yeah someone wrecked their bmw into a into a swamp so this dude lost the police and then crashed fucking l but that was about like the the zaniest thing that i watched yesterday the rest of it was just like drunk dudes being like there is one that was the uh it was the wife of the mayor and she kept she was blackout and was going into bars and just saying a bunch of racist shit because it was in wisconsin and i guess that just happens in wisconsin um <laughs> uh that was funny oh yeah i know i can't do that i had to unfollow somebody the other day that i really like i'll probably f end up following him back because he's a good guy but like there was a plane crash. Uh, I won't... I was going to say, I won't get too into it. But, um, at a air show, I think it was in Texas, um, where somebody was flying like a bomber and somebody was flying like a fighter jet and the fighter jet hit the back of the bomber and it exploded. Uh, and this dude on my timeline decided like to continuously retweet video the video from different angles like all fucking day like he'd reach it at once and like 45 minutes later there'd be another one 45 minutes later there'd be another one like, i don't want to see that man like unless there unless it's confirmed that like nobody died the it, at the time no one oh, knew if someone tomorrow. died i still don't know if anyone died somebody probably fucking died but like, i don't want to watch people die on twitter man i'm not interested no thank you like i want to look at like 
cat girls and race cars. That's all I want. Like, why do you keep... Why would... They, yeah, no shit. At the time, it was unconfirmed, but like... Big kaboom. Like, it did not look like people were walking out of that. Okay, hold on here. Over the tram. Get, get there, get there, get there. Yeah, it... I don't push the whole fucking tram back! God damn it. I got a chaos theory. But yeah, like, uh, man, like, by the fourth, like, by the fourth, third or fourth video this dude had retweeted out of my timeline, I was like, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm gonna unfollow you for a bit. I, 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 is there a content warning on, uh, on Twitter? No, eh? Oh, okay, we got it this time, I think. Like, you know how on Discord you could do spoilers? Yeah. If you want to retweet that so I can go, yuck, yeah, I don't want to see that, and just scroll over it, then that's f fucking awesome. I, I do not want to watch a bunch of people die in a plane crash four times in a day. Not interested. And I get, like, some people, like, this dude, really nice guy. I'm not going to say who he is because I don't think he was doing this to be malicious. I just don't think he had, like, he was thinking. Uh, Cisco, you probably know who it was if you were on Twitter that day. Um... Yeah, because he would retweet the original, like, news article with the video, and then he retweeted a different one, and then he retweeted a different one, and then he retweeted, and they were all different angles. I'm like, I don't really need a multi-camera angle of six people dying, personally. We uh, not really interested in that a lot. Have some tact, you know what I mean? Like, I think this dude just went like, I am a journalist, I should, like, re repeat the news. Like, no. It's about causing as You're a journalist about race cars, not people dying in plane crashes. It was the, the 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 gentleman who review uh, interviews me and Ian every year for Daytona. Again, not a bad dude. Um, I feel like if I would have DM'd him and been like, "Hey, can you fucking maybe not do that?" He would have been like, "Oh shit, sorry." But I was like, "I'm not in the fucking mood. I don't want to. I want to watch that." Yeah, the fact that I saw it once was already gross. Like, I don't want to see it two or three more times, you know? What? Oh, I didn't get the 4X. Idiot! I thought I got it. I wasn't paying attention. Like, if you if you can watch a plane crash where you know full well people are probably not walking out of there, at least with serious injuries, you know, it turns out everyone passed away. And I'm, you know, rest in peace. That's incredibly unfortunate. Well, honestly, unfortunate, because that sounds like I don't actually care, but... Take one well, Emerald, the thing at the end of the day is a family guy bit's a family guy bit. It's not real. It's scripted. It's not a real crash with real people, you know? So even if, like, family guy made a joke in pat in ba bad taste, in pad thai, if, if they made a joke in bad taste, it's still just a joke. It's not a real thing that happened to real people. Yeah. And again, I don't think he was doing it and like, look how cool this is. It was more of a like, I I am John News. Therefore, I will be like, John News. The we auto boost is bait. I need it to get to the thing. I got to clear the trams. It just, it, I'm honestly going too slow. Let's see if I can racing line this. Hold on. That did not work. Yeah, and there's a reason I'm not saying the dude's name either, because he's a good guy. Again, I, I, again, if I feel if I would DM'd him and like, dude, take three seconds and think about what you're doing. He'd be like, yeah, you're right. That's kind of gross. I just don't think he was thinking about that. 
And I'm, I'm sure there's some of you guys that can stomach watching these kinds of crashes. Like, I'm sure some of you guys will watch fatal crashes on, like, YouTube or whatever. And I'm not here to judge you, but I think it's gross. I can't do it. Fuck. Take one insane like, I'm not gonna... I've, I've watched fatal crashes online before. Like, I'm not seeking them out, you know what I mean? But... I'm also not reposting them on my public forum. I fucking hate my life. If anything, I think the ramp's a bait. Looking out across the water from Pull your head out of your ass, ah, Keenan. Come on. This is literally the last one. Yeah, if you're watching guy who knows who should know who he is, no offense. Uh but I feel like after having heard what I just said, you'll understand. I'm taking another look at this. I think there's like a lot of these are not as deep as they look, we got the speed, you know? We got the beauty and we got the destruction. I'm take a peek here. Covering all the waterfront crash junction. Ooh, there is here. another ramp. Crash FM. I didn't. Yeah, see, it helps. <laughs> There's absolutely two ramps. I think I'd be going too fast if I use the the boost power up. So I think Weasel may have been right. I'm gonna skip it. No, definitely need the boost. Definitely. Definitely very much need the boost. We got the Just for the momentum. The I'm so, why am I so hungry? I ate lots of food yesterday. We got the speed. Oh, it is 10, we got the 10 30. It's about dinner. It's getting towards dinner time. Oh, right through the middle. Oh, I'm actually a god. Holy shit. I don't know. I don't care if that's going to work or not. That was hilarious. <laughs> this is the only one so far that's really racking my Looking brain. Across the waterfront location, all I take another look at it. Carnage. Crash I need to involve the both lanes so I can get another kaboom boom and get the 4x but it's pretty tricky to get the uh to get that I've only gotten it like once or twice yeah this is literally all of burnout revenge all the crash junctions are like this which is why I like burnout revenge more you got to think a little bit more so uh, what you want to do is not drive directly into the back of a fucking bus you're welcome I'm trying to help you I, I knew what I was doing there. That was intentional. Take one Come insane on. Burner, Don't be silly. Street filled with traffic. Don't be silly. Why would I just drive into a bus? Why would I just drive into the back of the bus by accident? Don't be silly. <laughs> no! I want... A different. Oh, bud, I'm fucking in another area code. I am all the way over here. Okay. Looking out across the waterfront location. I was gonna say I'm just gonna hit the tram, but. Fuck. We got the speed. I am glad I got stuck on one of these because we were jetting through them. There you go. I'm 
starting to figure out how to get that consistently ish at least like 40 percent of the time for somebody whose brain is incredibly tiny i fucking tried cisco i i got i tried and got scared <laughs> i i i i see i see because if the if anything's on the road they'll just start crashing the timing on that is so weird ah the crash junction i really wish striker wouldn't there you go got it i think you're on to something here though Oh my fucking god. Cisco Scaramuza. You're a genius. Get the four, get the four, get the four. Yes. What a smart man. I totally forgot that like projectiles in this game. I mean, I got lucky. I got a lucky bounce too. Don't get me wrong. I'm getting the gold and I'm getting, I'm getting, we're getting silly. Why not? Oh, I hope that guy didn't want his boat. I hope these guys had nowhere to go. Frame rate moment. I can't wait to play this game again. If you have an Xbox 360, uh, I mean, by all means, if you want to play it on the original Xbox or PS2, knock yourself out. But if you have an Xbox 360 and you don't want to deal with getting a physical copy, it is $9.99 on the store. It's not, you can't play it on the one, you can't play it on the newer stuff, but just on the 360, it's still available digitally, which is how I'm playing it. Uh, I'll send you a dollar, Cisco. That's the, uh, that's the, the Canadian 10%. Lewis Hamilton, Silverstone. I'm trying to come up with a joke to say back. Ah, or Interlagos 2022. I don't know if we've talked about that yet. What a fucking wacky race. I, I would love to live in a world where everybody in Formula 1 stopped driving like a fucking jackass. That would be so cool. Like, for as fast as those dudes are, they all suck. <laughs> like, it's about causing as much damage comedy, as possible. making jokes. Some of the most talented drivers in the world. Don't start with their shit with me. But it's like every time I see highlights of an F1 race, it's just some dude shipping the other guy off the track and then going, mm hmm Like, it's, it's silly how some people are driving this year. Revenge, Hopper Suit 2. Hopper Suit 2, excellent video game. Revenge, you can buy physical for 360 as well. And it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to play stuff on, like, the highest quality possible while still being, like, a legit... Not... Uh, Spooks, do you forget that in Kimmy's last season, he just turned left at one point because he felt like it and caused a crash? They're all terrible, man. No, nobody is Kimmy is like what if I just turn left I wonder what oh there's a car there <laughs> lol oops I got this way good luck to Sebastian I, I turned the car to the left thank you district thanks for the follow I can't believe like like Max is kind of a bastard like like don't read too far into that i'm just that's how i talk um for what for the whole sergio thing absolutely stinky doo-doo i don't think he was at fault for that crash hasn't done a full season in three years when you have a bunch of young talent i think haas and williams but haas specifically can benefit from a old hat that would give them a lot of experience and like help them with car dev. If you want some I mean, I'm not a genius. I don't run a multi-billion dollar company. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but um I like I said if I was Williams, I would pay Daniel Ricardo as whatever ah, he wanted for at least a year. Are open for business. How much and if he's a bust, he's a bust, but like 
Yeah, that is fair. That is fair. I don't think they should get rid of Mick, personally. I think Mick gets way too much hate. Mick did qualify like Stinky Doodoo uh, in Interlagos, but in the sprint race, didn't he drive up to 12th in a very, like, strong midfield? Literally, a broom could be a team principal for Ferrari and nothing would really change. Holy fuck. Hello, welcome to a Scuderia de Ferrari. We hate the winning. I put a calzone in the car. Oh. Yeah, like, like, Weasel, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that because I... I'm not sure if that's, like, been confirmed, confirmed, or that's just, like, people connecting the dots. But if you want to think Max is a jerk for what he did to Checo, I think that's totally fair. However, people blaming Max for that wreck at Interlagos are on something. Uh, Max had the line outside of turn one, was still there, hold your line. It's not like he dropped back and then dove in again. He was next to, at least from what I saw, he was next to Lewis the whole time. And Lewis is just like, what if I don't give you space? And honestly, if I'm Max, I already have the championship. I don't give a fuck. If you want to cut me off, bro, I'm not lifting. Fuck you. Want to drive me like a dipshit? Fuck off then. Eat a dick. Like, fuck. I don't blame him at all for that. People are like, you endangered his life? Blow me, dude. Blow me. I mean, I mean, you know, in the defense is that Max drives other people like that, and that's fair. But also, my counter argument to that is that every person on the F1 grid drives like that. If you look hard enough, you can find examples of your favorite driver driving like a fucking asshole. It just wait, just wait. It's it's not one person. It's just really easy for casual F1 fans to just like paint one person as a villain and a bad person. They ever realize like the worst F1 takes on Twitter, by the way, are always like by like hashtag insert the first two initials of a driver and their number and they are like it's Stan accounts. Like this isn't BTS. You ha you need background knowledge before you stand this a little bit because you're going to sound like a fucking idiot online if you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I agree, but there's also being aggressive and just shoving people off the track for no reason. Oh, yeah, Bubba fucked up. I'm a Bubba fan, but Bubba fucked up. I'm... He didn't admit it right away, but why would you? But he did eventually, right? Like, he was like, I didn't do that on purpose. And then 24 hours, like, mm. So I may have been telling fibs. I still can't believe they didn't do anything about the Chastain thing. I, I'm... Cannot believe they didn't do anything about that. Oh, howdy. This at all? All the time. Well, not recently, but I used to play it a lot when I was a younger. <laughs> Beardo. Well, I mean, but, but I'm going to use this in. I'm not going to try to compare NASCAR shitty driving uh, to F1 shitty driving because I think it's just two different forms of motorsport. I think it's a little difficult to do that. Um, for me, I'm, but, uh, for me, racecraft wise, being Lewis aggressive would be, uh, let's use the set of asses off. as an example. If Lewis wanted to hold Max super, super, super tight. So Max couldn't get a good exit and have a run on the outside. Man, that's fair. That's aggressive, but you Riviera. still need to give him room. Lewis turned in broke them. and it looked like from Max's cockpit view. Haha, <laughs> cock. It looked like from Max's cockpit view that Lewis put him in a position where he was like, if you, you either lift or you take us both out. And I understand that Max does this all the time, but that doesn't make it right for other people to do it. And it doesn't make it Max's fault because he's... The amount of fucking stupid takes I saw on Twitter. People were like, well, you know, he was uh, obviously this was on purpose because this, that, and the other thing, and this and that, whatever. I'm like, you have to look at a, at a crash 
or an incident objectively not what oh this dude did, did this two months ago and this guy has a history of this and uh this that and whatever no 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 no. you got to look at beginning middle end not what happened fucking two weeks ago like there's a reason you don't don't work in race control could you imagine that guy's gonna get a penalty because he wrecked a guy a month ago and i don't like it I'm like fuck off go outside take a lap Literally race a rental go-kart for a week. Get something, some sort of racecraft experience. I'm begging you. Later, Cisco. Have a good night, too. Yeah, like, my, my stance on, like, all the F1 drama in terms of on-track drama this year is the FIA need to be a lot stricter. This isn't touring cars. This isn't NASCAR. It's the fastest open wheel racing in the world. People are going to die. People are going to get hurt. And I, I man, maybe, maybe I'm a, I'm a, I'm a schmuck. Maybe I'm a, I'm, I'm a snowflake or whatever people want to call me, but I don't enjoy someone's idea of defense of going, I'm going to literally put you in the grass. Like I'm going to shove you in the grass and people no more five sec park people. Fuck it. Like I'm over it. It makes F1 hard to watch because, you know, if there's a good close on track battle, someone's just going to go, well, what if I just did this? Like, like it's fucking terrible. I can't stand it. It's not all the time. It's a lot better this year than it was last year. Last year was fucking pathetic. But. Uh... Oh, Suzuka was bad. Oh, I can't believe people blame Pierre for that. Like, Pierre's a unit, but, like, oh, that was bad. At Suzuka. And of all the people. Oh, that was a rough one, man. That was rough. Drive like that on the interstate? Yeah, they're probably driving, what, Nissan Altimus? <laughs> yeah, I'm fed up with it, dude. Like, as a fan, I'm exhausted. Not that I watch a lot of races uh, anyway, but... They, they've spent all this time and, and money in research into um, uh, making the cars really close and able to race close together, but the drivers just aren't interested. And, like, it, and it boggles my mind, too, because 90% of these dudes, if not 100% of them... What the fu- I clipped. I clipped. Well, let's ride this out. Let's see what happens. It boggles my mind, too, because all these kids have raced go-karts before, and half the shit they're pulling off in, or they're trying to get away with in a multi-million, almost multi-billion dollar car, if you include, like, all the R&D and, like, all the work that goes into the team. You're pulling shit you wouldn't do in a go-kart race. That doesn't make fucking sense to me. What's up, Mike? How we doing? I don't know, brother. If I wanted to watch BTCC, I'd watch BTCC. Honestly, I think that drivers just need to stop lifting. And it's people are going to get hurt, but something's got to fucking change. If, so, if some dude shoves you off the track, fuck it. Just hook him. I'm, I'm over it, dude. I'm <laughs> fucking over it. We need to do some work here. Bring it on. Like, yeah, you're going to get a bunch of DNFs, but at the same time, like, something's got to give, man. It doesn't need, like, I'm, like, I want people to race clean and fair. And again, it's, if there was closed wheel, I, we'd be having another conversation right now. If it was, like, touring cars or GT cars and you had people shoving people wide, you literally just stay in it and hope for the best and maybe bump doors. You can't do that at an F1 car. You break a wing, your fucking race is over. With the bonks. Thanks, Kohai. I was right. This is going to be at least two more streams or one more stream. Damn it. It is still me, Striker. How many monies do I need? Oh, I was almost there.
Rahua. Uh, boom. Okay. I... That was hilarious. That van hit me at the exact right time. I think I didn't get the right lane involved the first time. I did now. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, I want to be one of these guys, like the one car that slips through. Uh, I didn't watch any of it. I, I, I gotta tell you, I don't care enough about NASCAR. You can, you, whatever, whatever motorsport you love is awesome. But I, I pff, don't care. I watch the highlights. I can't watch a 36, 36 race fucking schedule. Um, where the races are four hours and only the last one matters. I really don't give enough of a shit. I watched the last like 50 laps of Phoenix and that was it. Planning a crash? Hit boost. Oh, and then I watched, I think, the 500 and like races here and there when they were on and I wasn't doing anything. They can change all they want about the car. If they really keep doing this fucking championship four shit, I'm not interested. Drive into something. I mean, people still watch NASCAR and are still incredibly interested. Oh, yeah, I forgot Kimi Racing did okay. Like, if people, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, like it's totally devoid of action. It's just like, I don't know. The chase was kind of a dumb idea, but I was like, oh, you know what? It works. And then the playoffs was a bit... is a bit too gimmicky for me. I, you know what? I was, thank you, uh, shooting, shooting mock for the follow. I was anti-wall ride, and then I thought about it a little bit more. I'm like, you know what? I think I am the jerk here. Like, they should, app I think Joey had the best take on that. Um, I think, like, Logano had the best take on the Chastain wall ride. Of let it stand. It was f hilarious. There needs to be rules in place to prevent this happening again. Because it went well. But what if, like, the gate was open or, like, he got caught on the wall or, you know, it's safety. Also, uh, I forget who else said it. It may have been Briscoe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big... A heavier fellow with, like, a like a beard. I know that doesn't really narrow it down, but I think it was Chase Briscoe. It was, like, people... We're just going to fucking do that. Like, we're all going to do this every lap now or every last lap. It's setting a huge precedent. So, they like, let this stand, but, like... Oh, hell yeah. Like, it's it's absolutely NASCAR history, and I think it's hilarious. And we people, like, people have talked about people doing that for years and just kind of joked about it, and someone actually went and fucking did it, and it's really funny. Go, 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 go. Yeah! I thought I was getting that heartbreaker for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's work to be done. Growing pains. I mean, when the when the COT was introduced, wasn't it also kind of poopy? And then it took some time and effort and working on it and working on it. No, I, what I'm what I'm thinking of is a guy who got one of the drivers that got interviewed after the race. I'm sure some people have had the same take, but I saw a post race interview from a driver with a suit on. Hey, look, it's my house. Get it? Because I'm a piece of garbage. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, 92%. Let's go. How many cars do I have? Three more. Oh, probably from the trophy things. So I've got all the crash cars now. Silver Lake, the vacation destination Crash terms of racing. I got better though, didn't it? Like the Gen 6? Or the 5 or whatever? Fuck, I don't know. Ah, the Crash Junctions are open for business. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Randall. Um, 
Man, again, I'm not super interested in NASCAR. Unfortunately, I'm a motorsports fan living in North America, so you get a lot of, like, overlap. I can't wait to see that fucking thing hustle around Le Mans for 24 hours. It won't. It's going to blow up. There's no way that car finishes that race, but I'm fucking here for it. I can't wait to see a Le Mans hypercar fly by a stock car. I love that we live in this timeline. That's hilarious. Like, you're going to see a like one of the most sophisticated cars within its rule set in sports car racing. You know, like the peak of the technology in closed wheel motorsports right now. And then Jeb in his Camaro in... F <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm so ready. I'm so fucking ready. Is that this year? Vulan, I I might actually fucking watch the the Le Mans 24. I may actually watch it. I need to see that. And we're on board now with Kemi Kobayashi. <laughs> fucking stock car flying by at 210. <laughs> I need to see this. I, I love that we live in this future, man. If, if anybody out there is anti-NASCAR showing up to Le Mans just to be silly little guys and not really, like, taking it seriously, like, just racing to race and complete it just because it's fucking cool, if people are against that, you already know what it is. You already know what it is. They're in their own class. They're doing their own thing. They're li I don't even think they're racing anybody. They're literally like they're in a class of one. They're just going out there to, to fuck around. Like I'm so about that. Yeah, well, it's going to need that shit. If it rains. The Monk is there if they just brought a 22 cup car with no changes. It would be comical. Uh, luckily, we live in a world with a Seto Corsa. Uh, Godzilla. Oh, they went fuel injection a long time ago. Well, maybe not a long time ago, but not recently. Since we're up on the Alpine route, have you tried skiing into the crash junction? Shh, fuck off! We have seriously dangerous winter city runs for crash carnage. Yeah, so like, it, literally, we have seriously they're not gonna ruin the like a race for any- Well, they might, who fucking knows. But they're just out there for funsies, and I, I love that. I mean, granted, I don't want to see, like, MX-5 Cup cars at Le Mans. I don't want to see, like, touring cars at Le Mans. Unless they're racing each other. I don't want to watch a LMP car fucking plow into a touring car going 100 miles an hour faster. People, Someone's going to die. But if we just, like, put two or three yeehaw good old boys out there, you know, just for comedy. Again, they're not racing anybody. As far as I know, I don't think they're going to be in another, like, class with other cars that realistically they're going to be able to race cleanly. Oh, I know Gianni. He lives where I live. I didn't know that till like, recently. Oh my god, the bus just 0 to 60 in under a second. I'm going 160 in a bus. Out of the way, fuckheads! Bruh. Do you have a bus pass? Uh, LMPs? I mean, the... Uh, what's the series? I know it's like the Nürburgring 
endurance. But not a Lama though, man. Like that's it's literally a rate like a straight with a wiggly bit. Like like a TCR, someone on TCR is gonna fucking die. I don't wanna be doing like 130 in my Audi and watch a dude doing 200 fly by me. I'm would I would poop. Feces would come out. <laughs> Rare frizz moment. It is me, Striker on Crash FM, watching you guys. I need one more here in Winter City or event here to clear the European golds. I wish, uh, What's up, I wish I racing had LMP3s. The is yes, I do love Winter City, and you want the latest crash action? Okay, keep it here. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I mean, LMP3s aren't crazy though. They're not crazy like fast, aren't they? They're just like a jacked up radical kind of in terms of like pace or maybe just because every time I watch someone drive an LMP3 it's like a dentist we're not going to talk about that three steps to filling up on adrenaline yeah I would I would sell my soul to get LMP3s and guys I know this might be news to you I might be not good at this game take one insane burner a street filled with traffic I don't know man is anybody here actually against the garage 56 thing for real I'm not gonna sit here and try to convince you of otherwise if that's how you feel that's how you feel No, Vulan, if, if they did LMP3s uh, in iRacing, I think it should replace the LMP2 fix series. Murder. That's it. Street filled with traffic. A I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm imagining like some French dude named Pierre who's like punching the air right now. Imagining like somebody that's in their own class and not really doing anything other than just driving around for 24 hours. That is not the spirit of uh, Lamar Racing. The very prestigious race. There's got to oh goodbye. There's got to be some schmuck that's just like fails to see the comedy in this. Like I don't want to see a class of them. I don't want to see like fifteen of them out there, but. Yeah, just a bunch of silly little guys, you know? That's all I want. I am on my second wind here now. I was really tired. I think I'm going to finish up the crash events, guys, and then probably call it. It's going to be a, a kind of a short stream, all things considered, but... Uh... Oh, there it is. I no, don't have eyeballs. But I am a little tired. Just picked up the latest vineyard stats from Burnout 3. We'll be streaming this on Sunday. Uh, no stream on Saturday. I, I put out a, uh, the schedule. It's supposed to be out on Mondays. But I fucked it up and I put it out yesterday. I forgot to put it in Discord too because I'm a horrible streamer. Um, I'm not going to... I need to make like a, like a sticky note with a list of things to do. I, I have to do for the stream on my off days. Um, but I'm watching wrestling on Saturday. I'm going to watch, uh, AEW on Saturday because I want to watch MJF on, win the title. The spinning, the boost flowing, and the cars flying. Weasel, this is literally my job. I try to go for f at least four hours at, uh, a stream. I know some people out there do one or two hours and that's cool. That's not me. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. Like, you're wrong, but thanks, buddy. Fuck. Yeah, I normally don't call off streams to watch uh, wrestling, but... Whew, that, that title match. Whew. I have a feeling it's not going to be a clean MJF win or a clean Mox win. Something's going to happen. 
I'm also like really I'm gonna talk wrestling here for like five seconds if you're not interested in wrestling we've been talking about race cars for the last like hour so fuck off I'm joking I don't care I'm making a funny um no eh? yeah, I didn't think so um I'm really bummed that CM Punk ended up being a fucking pee pee head allegedly um and this isn't a CM There's Punk a MJF culmination of their whole crash. story they made it work. Like, I don't know who is responsible for the creative for this. Um, they made it, they made it happen. But I really feel like this MJF Mox feud was supposed to be MJF. Uh, I disagree with you, Denny. I, I've overshot it two times in a row here now. Until he I retires. I like Kenny, thing. man. They they were getting a little... Uh, you know what? I mean... It doesn't make me laugh that you were in the hospital, to be honest, to BH. I don't think that's very funny. Go! Easy video game. Easy game. Easy game. That was really lucky. I think I was supposed to use the small ramp there. Goodbye, taxi. I'll go this way. Why not? Oh! Okay, I thought you were in the hospital. Congrats, man. Those are good jobs. I think. All, all my friends that were in the hospital make decent money. Not what they're worth. Like, I have friends that... A friend that's a nurse that's like... Tells me all, all about his job all the time. Not all the time, but like the twice a year I see him. All right, that's Europe done, ladies and gentlemen. We are less so six, seven events left in the game. We are currently at ninety-four percent completion. Strap in and strap on. That's racist, Crash Foo. But yeah, I mean the whole the whole um of mine, AKA my all out dad, scrum. Like I'm bummed that again, I'm bummed that this this storyline isn't CM Punk versus MJF now. That makes me sad in my pantalones. However, I think that AEW creative needed a big fucking wake up call because it was like, hey, look at all these people that we've they've been working for us for years. Oh, all these WWE guys are coming in now. Let's just give them all the opportunities. They were WCWing. I really feel like this was like a cold splash of water in their face. And they're like, fuck, maybe we should, you know. I gen I, I think the only like WCW thing that's going to happen is the elite's going to get that trio's title back. Other than that, I don't think it's going to be crazy. And you know what? The trio's title is kind of just not, it's not, not a not big deal, but it's out of all the titles for them to hoard. That's I'm okay with it. Wrestling fans, this is going to sound wild. I did something crazy the other day. I watched WWE SmackDown. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, the Jeff, Jeff Jarrett can fuck all the way off, but I think they said he's got more of a backstage role. He's probably doing this, like, one goofy thing, and then that'll be it. I hope. I really don't want to see Jeff Jarrett on my television screen. As much I am not interested in Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> the last two promos he's had have been, like, super silly. So, I mean, I guess there's that, but... Oh, that was good. I may have... Uh-oh. Please don't hit me farther down this path, though. Oh, no. I might... I might... Oh. Let's give it a whirl. No, let me have control. Okay, we're good. Never mind. It took my uh, my impact time away. I was going to be really mad about that. No, dude. Uh, I, I like watched the one part with Sami Zayn being a silly little man, and that was really it. I, I haven't bit the bullet and sat down and watched a full WWE production 
open front to back in like probably over five years now. But watching like 20 minutes of it, I was like, this is a different show. Yeah, I was incredibly lucky. I got a lot. I got lucky with a lot of these, to be honest. Ninety-seven million dollars. I'm a criminal. Hey, check this. The crash nav has just been updated with the, the crate escape. Making my escape. Making my escape. Telling me that everything is great. Everything is great. I, Three steps to I don't know. Number one. I'm feeling a little oozy today. Weasel, do you know the joke behind that whole thing? I didn't even look. Do you know why that's so funny? And I didn't. And take take this with a grain of salt. So I saw it on Reddit, so. We all know Reddit is the one singular source for the best information in the world. Oh, come on! Boo. Oh, sick. Yes, I do. I didn't know that until recently. Very funny. So I'll kill the, uh, the, the wrestling talk a bit. But so if you guys don't watch wrestling, there is a team called the Usos. And uh, Roman Reigns is involved and Sami Zayn's involved. They're called the Bloodline. Um, Sami Zayn is the new guy. He's the only guy that's not all. Oh, and then Tonga, not Tonga Lo. I forget who the other guy's name is. So Soma Sokoya or something like that. Someone's going to correct me. Um, but uh, they're all family members minus Sammy. But Sammy is like the most loyal. Um, so there's like this dichotomy of the one of the Usos doesn't trust Sammy, even though Sammy's done nothing wrong. And he's like been the nicest guy. He's just being a dick for no reason. Um, and uh, they're bad guys, right? So... Um, I'm not doing a great job of explaining this. I'm very tired. Um, but I think it's Jay Uso snaps at one point and says, I don't care about the tribal chief. And this dude fucking slow turns around like, oh my God, he's about to die. And Sammy puts his arm around and goes, don't worry, man. He's just, he's not feeling himself. Uh, he's not feeling, uh, very oozy lately. And like, you see him smile and he goes to cover his face. And like the acting from Jay Uso here was this. Because he covers his mouth, but his eyes still look pretty serious. Um, and all of them kind of held it together until the the, the crowd started chanting Usi. I forget what language it's in. I think it might be uh, Tongan. Usi means pussy. <laughs> so the crowd was chanting the word pussy. And nobody knew it, but the guys in the ring. Dude, you're a genius. And probably like a handful of people in the crowd. But... <laughs> He's a fucking artist, man. Sami Zayn is a national treasure. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if the word Usi is that funny. And then I saw the Reddit thing. I was like, never mind. I was wrong. Hey, that's the car, by the way. Uh-oh. Got it. I swear on my... Y Thank you. Go! Go! Hit it! Oh, I got it right at the end. I think I got it right at the end. I don't know if it's going to count, but I got it right at the end. You get a little bonus out of it. Yeah! Five grand. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Almost done. I really thought, honestly, I, I, I'm i talking a little bit too early, I think. I was like, I didn't think this game was going to take, would be as short as it was. I remember this game being a lot longer. But also, I was probably like 12 and really bad at video games. The speed, um, the beauty, and the destruction. Thank you, Striker. Um, but I didn't think this would be a three-part Let's Play. I thought it would be four, five, six parts. Car? Get to it. I mean, I still have two more challenges to do once this game is over. So, 
I'm going to try not going for the boost. So, like, God knows if these, like, takedown challenges are going to take me fucking 12 hours. Yeah, let me just grab the heartbreaker that's sitting right there. You, you fool. I love how you hear this. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to bounce off that. Uh-oh. 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 Please, please all hit him without hitting me. Please all hit him without hitting me. Please all hit him without hitting me. I need one more car. Come on, from downtown, please! Damn it. Shimped. Get the boost flow and the wheels. I wrecked <laughs> fucking like four cars. Okay. Different strategy. No boost. Right ramp. Stop. Okay, that's fine. Holy fuck, I launched somebody. Somebody got... Tony Hawk Pro Skatered. There we go. That bus, oh, the homie bus. <laughs> the fucking Tuck Tucks, bro. Oh my god. I look, I'm like, well, the crash is over, and these like four Tuck Tucks, like, da 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 da. That's fucking amazing. Can't hug the tuck, baby. That was comedy. That was very funny. I'm still working on this. It is 11 o'clock and I got this coffee at like 6. Oh, it's empty now. Hold on. Now it's empty. 97. Three more to go. Silver Lake. The vacation destination where all you can hear are the sounds of the birds, the wind so, in the trees. Oh, so you said Silver Lake, yet that's a state that's in the USA. Striker, are you lost? Get the boost flowing, the wheel spinning, and of course, vehicles flying. Island paradise crash time again. So, by the way, just in case, um, fucking this style thing again. Honestly, the fact that it was like it was like lemmings, like in my brain, I saw the tuk tuks as like small little animals running into a wall, like you know, like a cat runs into like a glass door. That, but three of them. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, but just for just just so everybody knows, I think I've said this already. But if this if the next part of this game is the last part, so if I can clear up the take down challenges and stuff in one in one four hour sitting which i hope i can um i am not starting a new game until need for speed unbound is out because i want to get heat done and it's not going fast enough um because i'm kind of having fun with it it pisses me off to no end but i'm having fun with it at the same time i like try to rush through a bunch of events and then i customize a car for 45 minutes like it's not really good for the old the old timing here. I have made a mistake. I'm going to do something unwise here. I'm going to go for the explosion that I've missed. And uh, once Unbound is out, then we'll be like, like I don't think anything else no noteworthy is coming out, really. Uh, after that, hold on a minute. Oh, no, I will hit those cars. Hmm. <clears throat> Suck me off. Thank you. Take the airway. Um. But like I said, sub. I got some sub goals coming. Uh, coming up that I think will be cool for like stream. I fuck. Well, let's see if this works. I'm buying on bound day one. Uh, I'm hoping that EA sends it to me. Because I'm part of, like, their creator program thingamajig. And I'm in the group chat of people who will be getting game codes, so... I, I don't want to buy it. 
personally. Because I'm not sure if it's going to be good or not. I'd rather not spend my money on a game that I'm not, you know. Games aren't cheap anymore. You can't really get away with that. Okay. I was hoping to, like, ramp off the side of the ramp here, but... Uh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I can... No! It's not what I wanted to do at all! Um, what was I saying? So I've got three sub-goal ideas coming up, and I, I need space in my schedule to, like, do them if the sub-goal is met, which I trust you people. Every, every, every time I'm like, nah, this will never happen. You always surprise me. So, I... Hassan. I really hyped. Brudge. Are we doing okay, Race Crown? Is the window net down? Whoever came up with crash. But uh, I had. I'm gonna play Fast and Furious Crossroads regardless. I know it's bad. That's the whole fucking point. Um. I also think apparently I can get that game done in in a uh, sitting. Oh, I got sidetracked. No. And I can't see from here. I went to go for the crash breaker, and I should have just focused on the 4X. But Crossroads is going to happen. If we reach a certain sub goal, I've got to come up with the numbers. If we reach a certain sub goal, I'll do Vin Diesel's Wheel Man right after in the same day. Um, and. Hold on. Perfect. Now we're cooking. I should have waited till the car settled. No! Damn it. I mean, we've, we've, we've done enough here, I think. I still hear... There's a wheel. Something's happening. I would love to see it. Oh, okay. That's the whole joke, Nick. Thank you. Um, but... P2 at the Roval. What's at the Roval right now? Um, I got sidetracked. Oh, M's at the... Oh, yucky. Actually, no. I like the LMP2 there. LMP2 there is fun. I don't know if I'd race it, but it's fun. Um, I'm very tired. <laughs> Gawk. <laughs> a gawk named Cass. If you're heading to That's a joke for, I think, like three people. Um, right. Okay. So if we reach a certain sum goal, I want to do the Vin Diesel ah, day. So I think it'd be funny. Um, if we reach another goal pay? after that. Um, I'm going to play at least one of the two games on hard mode, if not both. Um, and if we reach a goal after that, I haven't done a speed run in a while. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Fuck. I do not know who Emil is. You ever seen a Hollywood? Car Unless you meant Emily. Go? Your fingers are letting you down today. Sick. Oh my god! That tuck that they yeah, they're done. What's up, devil? You're here just in time for the end of the game, kind of. We will be golding all of the events tonight, but there's still more to do after. There's like three things, but they're gonna be pain in the butts. Thank you, alarm noise. Very cool. 1.9. After I've unlocked everything. I don't need the money anymore. Boneworks. Oh, right. That's a real game. My bad.
Oh. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 100%ed the events, at least. We've all golded, we should say. Oh, no, there's one straggler here. Hold on. Can you think of a more beautiful place to crash a car? Get to it. I think this is it. Yep, this is the last event. Silver. Oops. <laughs> I guess I missed it. Get the boost flowing, the wheel spinning, and of course, vehicles flying. Island Paradise. It's like, oh, okay. Again. Bummer. Um. So I'm gonna try to do something real stupid. I'm gonna try to bank off the building. I don't know if that's what it wants me to do, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. Pray for me. I don't know if it's gonna work, but... Oh, no, I'm not even gonna have enough gas to do it. Nope. Nope. I thought I'd be, like, flying. I thought I would, like, would be soaring there, but no. Oh, come on, car. I see you. I see you nudging over there. Oh, give me a fucking break. Oh, hold on. Give me a little kiss. A little push. Just a little push. Just a little push. I'm upset. Arizona green tea. Good choice. Good choice. Oh, well, it didn't matter. We're done. For now. What a video game. Not as long as I thought. If you just want to 100% the events. And I like was being a super, super big weirdo about it and, like, wanted to win every race and every cup and everything, so... You've completed the burnout race and crash tours with all gold medals. Is this the credits? Cute! Super cute. So that is... For the time being... Steven Uphill. Where's your, what's your brother's name? Thomas Downhill? <laughs> hey, Miss Wilson! For the fun is yucky. It's also 2005 quality hoot. It looks a lot... It shouldn't look as crunchy as it actually does. Um, they did what I do for my, like, outline and just turn it up enough. Look better in a CRT. So I'm playing this, like, on a console that was made to... I guess the Xbox wasn't made with HDMI in mind. Like, this is... Unless you're emulating, I think this is the best way of playing it. But I watched, like, footage of somebody playing this on, like, PCSX2 with everything cranked. And it's very similar quality. Which is... A compliment to this version because you would assume like I'm talking so we don't get lazy generationed in the VOD um, as long as the VOD doesn't get muted I don't really care um, tone works Hamburg um, oh, here's the soundtrack poggers anyone want to feel old um Yeah, gravy. That's where uh, that's where the whole idea for this all came from. Cause I was I start I looked into it and um, I was like, wow, okay, this is cool. I wonder if this game is still on the the marketplace. No, there's no way. And then I googled it and I was like, oh, why was this backwards compatible? Is what I thought. I was like, wait a minute, it's still on the fucking marketplace for 360? No way. Yeah, I don't care if they take the 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 revenue. I just don't want them to mute the. I don't want them to mute the, the VOD because then that's a headache for me to grab and download and all that stuff. Uh, I wonder how much Fueled by Ramen is on this on this uh, this soundtrack. Um, Artemis Records. Festival Mushroom Records. Okay. Uh, Least Generation. Capital. Those are Capital Records. Okay. Auto Brats, Audio Blood. It's a good song. Uh, oh, the Counterculture is a banger too. Oh, it's a from a UK band. 
I got I was getting chills reading that <laughs> reading that soundtrack. Um And all the kind owners will let us record their cars. Oh I guess for uh aw. Rest in peace, Arnie Smith, even though they we were a couple years behind. Hey! I don't know why you got this for crashing. It seems weird, but Oh, because it's a crash mode only car, probably. It's the car from the game. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. But we are not done. So you see we're at 99% even though we have 173 of 173 events completed. So what does that mean? Uh, that means we are not done. We have two more cars to unlock. We have eight more signature takedowns. And you get to get these takedown trophies. So, next time on Aerotech Plays Burnout 3 Takedown for the Xbox, uh, we are going to be getting... I don't know what order we're going to do this in. I think this is the way I want to do it. Uh, getting these signature takedowns first. So, Home Wrecker, I, I think this is just going to be wrecking somebody into an RV. Um... Tram Ram, again, I think it's just going to be wrecking somebody into a tram. Truck Torpedo, head-on collision with a truck. Euro Tram Ram, same thing. Um, paid the price. I think this is just throwing somebody in a toll booth in the Far East uh, biome or area. Riviera Roundabout, again, crashing somebody into the roundabout. Grapes of Wrath, I don't know what this one is. Uh, maybe that's a wine delivery truck. I'll have to maybe look this one up. Uh, tuck Down, again, just I think just wreck somebody into a Tuck Tuck. A lot of these are pretty self-explanatory, which is awesome. Um, this is the part of the Let's Play that is going to be a little irritating if I decide to go through with it. And I feel like I want to just because there is a car that hides behind this. So there's four takedown trophies here. Um, I need to get two bus takedowns in a race, ten takedowns in a race. That's not incredibly crazy. That's going to take a couple of tries. I could maybe even get both of those in the same race if I do it right. Uh, two tram takedowns, two trailer takedowns, two three aftertouch takedowns. That's gonna the three aftertouch ones is gonna be tricky. Again, I, I'm I'm a little bit more worried about these ones, but it's like I won and done. You know what I mean? Like it's not something I'll have to grind for. This sucks. Fifteen hundred total takedowns, fifteen takedowns in a race, forty takedowns in a road rage event, and two thousand total takedowns. So I think the forty takedowns in a road rage event we'd get anyway just by grinding takedowns. 15 takedowns in a race, I think, is something we'll get trying to grind these two things. Um, but the 2,000 takedowns is something that makes me, like, sick to my stomach. I don't know how if I can, if I can check that. Uh, there, 547. So I would need 1,500 takedowns. I'm not spending more than two more streams on this game. I think that's fair. So the next stream, I'm literally just going to be grinding out uh, signature takedowns and trophies. And then if I have to do another stream after that, just for like total takedowns, I'm doing one stream. And if it looks like I'm not going to do it in that one stream, then uh, I'm not going to sit here and grind these. I may change my mind. You know how I work. You know how I operate. But that's going to be it for tonight.